Hey toy fans, I'm D21Beast and welcome back to my figure review series here on my YouTube channel. Today we're once again taking a look at those Heroes in a Half Shell. This time we've got Tiger Claw from the Nickelodeon Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles toy line released by Playmates in 2014. If you're not familiar with Tiger Claw, he is new to this incarnation of Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. He did not appear in the 2003 or the 1980s animated series. And he's just kind of your basic rough and tumble bounty hunter type character. Now the Turtles have already squared off with him a couple of times on the show, and I don't think we've seen the last of him yet. This figure looks really cool in the box, guys. I can't wait to get him out and check him out. But let's go ahead and get started by taking a look at that packaging first and foremost. As you come down the front of the box, you do have that familiar green and purple packaging we've seen before. You've got the Nickelodeon Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles logo. You then have a blister bubble that does house the Tiger Claw figure inside, as well as his accessories. On the right hand side, you do have an image of all the turtles from the show, and at the bottom you do have the figure's name. Flipping this package around now, as you come down the back of the box, you once again have that Nickelodeon Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles logo. You do have a bio for Tiger Claw, go ahead and pause now to read that. And then at the bottom of the box, you do have a complete lineup of all the figures currently available in this wave. Alright guys, well that's the packaging. Let's say we get Tiger Claw out of the box and see what this guy is all about. Alright toy fans, here we have Tiger Claw out of the box, and this is one fierce looking Bengal warrior. Let's go ahead and take a close look at this guy's paintwork and sculpting. I think Playmates has done a great job on this figure. To start with, we can see here that there is tons of paint detailing on the head. We've got paintwork on the nose, on the snout with the white here, pink on the nose, pink on the tongue, black tiger stripes painted on the face, on the eye patch, on the top of the head, uh, white for the eye there. The only place there isn't really paint applications is on the back of the figure head, but I don't think it's too bad given how much we've, attention we've been given on the front here. As you come down the figure, you're going to see that he does have sort of a black torso that's got some painted bullets, painted buckle here on his bandolier. He's got a painted bandana, which is really nice. His sleeves are painted a lighter color blue. He's got silver on the belt. As you come down the arms here, you'll see that there are tiger stripes painted on both forearms. Coming down the figure, he does basically just have black legs, and then he's got his feet painted sort of the orangish tiger color here at the bottom. I'm also a big fan of the way that he's got these uh, working holsters that have actually been sculpted on his leg. I like the uh, fur detailing that's been sculpted into the figure. Really just all around, this is a top-notch figure. They even have his stubby tail here with some hair detail on there. And uh, we see some more detail here for the bullet belts going around the waist. These ones weren't painted. And as we come out the back here, he's got this uh, bandana that's been continued to be sculpted on the back. So overall, a really great sculpt for the figure and really nice paintwork. I'm very happy with what Playmates has done. Tiger Claw actually comes with both of the gun accessories that you see here. The first one we have is sort of a futuristic space pistol almost type of weapon. It's a little bit slender and it's got some nice sculpt work on there. No paint work on it. And then the other gun he comes with here is a little more res reminiscent of a six shooter, which is perfect since he has the whole cowboy getup going on. And both of these guns actually fit in these holsters that have been sculpted onto Tiger Claw's legs. The slender gun goes on the right leg and the sort of revolver shaped gun goes here on the left leg. It's also nice that both of these weapons fit pretty easily into Tiger Claw's hand. You just slip them there in between his thumb and his index finger. Now the only problem with the guns, or Tiger Claw I guess, and we'll get on this in the articulation, is that his hand doesn't have any articulation. So once that gun is in there, he's not really going to be aiming all that well when you try to point him at your enemy turtle figures. Moving on to articulation, we can see that Tiger Claw does have a head that rotates a full 360 degrees. His arm does bend out from his body and up about that far, and it does rotate all the way around. There is no elbow articulation or wrist articulation, and that articulation is copied here on the other side. He does have a full rotation at the waist that allows him to spin all the way around. He's got some hinged hips that allow his leg to move forward that far, move back just a bit past standing position, and they do bend out from the body about that far. He's got a single jointed knee that bends down that far and forward that far, and that completes the articulation for this figure. So, somewhat basic, but also better than most villains we get from the Ninja Turtle series, so I can't complain here. Height-wise, we can see that Tiger Claw does come in at right around 5 inches tall. For some size comparison, here we have Tiger Claw compared to the Shredder, the Battleshell Michelangelo, the Battleshell Raphael, the Battleshell Leonardo, and the Battleshell Donatello, all from this same toy line. And finally, here he is compared to the 6-inch scale Marvel Legends Infinite Series Wolverine. Heh, <laughs> you call those claws, bub? Are you feeling threatened? Alright toy fans, well that's my review of the Nickelodeon Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Tiger Claw figure released by Playmates in 2014. Overall, this is a great figure to add to your Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles collection. He's got excellent paintwork, sculpting, and articulation that you typically don't see on a Ninja Turtles villain figure and I feel like a lot of love went into this guy. 
Tiger Claw is a really awesome villain that's been introduced into the show. If you've seen the show, you know how cool he is. He's definitely one you want to add to your lineup of villains to square off against the Turtles. There's no reason to miss this figure. Fortunately, he's starting to hit retail in mass, so you shouldn't have any trouble finding him. Well, that's my review, guys. Thank you so much for watching. If you like what you saw here, please feel free to rate, share, and subscribe. Also, be sure to hit me up on Twitter at D21Beast. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.